Meanwhile, the search for the suspect in that white Kia, it affected many communities, many neighborhoods here in Port St. Lucie, but one neighborhood in particular, the search spilled into that one. Our Stephanie Suskind is live for us tonight. She picks up that angle of our coverage. Stephanie. Shannon, good evening. You know, it is a very different scene out here than what we saw early this morning in front of this Castle Pines community. This was swarming with law enforcement officers for a good portion of the morning. Everything really looks normal now, and you can just imagine the intensity of that surge as law enforcement knew the violent and deadly crash that preceded this. There's a large law enforcement presence in your area looking for a black male for questioning. That's the message that alerted people in this typically quiet PGA Village community that something wasn't right. Car crash. They went in there four o'clock this morning. They had uh, two police in the backyard with canines looking in there. You know, kind of middle of the night in the helicopter. For the whole community to be black like this, I've never experienced this. Living here for like... 19 years, I've never seen this. A massive manhunt for more than four hours to find the driver of this white Kia after it smashed into a tree. The man behind the wheel accused of causing the crash that killed Trooper Zachary Fink. Multiple agencies were involved in the search that took over the community. When I was coming out of here, they uh, checked my car and my trunk and made me open up the windows and then they let me go, but they won't let me back in. The St. Lucie Sheriff describing it as a very dangerous situation. Neighbors shared this video of law enforcement going through the neighborhood. So quite a few, few uh, policemen right outside of our lanai looking for, I guess, clues. Uh, we're from New York City, so <laughs> we see a lot of activity, but uh, this was unusual because it, it had heavy equipment, canine dogs, uh, SWAT teams, and I mean, it was heavily armed. That suspect eventually taken into custody, but many neighbors devastated to learn that in all of this, a trooper and a truck driver both lost their lives. Terrible situation. And that's really what we heard from so many of the neighbors out here. Not only was their day obviously just in chaos because of the scene, but they really were devastated to learn about what happened and the death of that trooper as well as the truck driver.